Guys, have you seen inside your refrigerator? Yuck! That grease is gelled and how do you get it out? This Spick and Span 97 cents at Walmart. I'm going to show you how this product can make your life easier. Hey guys, so inside this refrigerator we've got grease and look at my big hand. It's kind of gelled in there. Ugh. Look at this thing. So this this might be in your refrigerator right now. Look at your doors. Is that in your doors? Ugh. So there's an easy way to clean this out and it's with Spick and Span. As you can imagine, I love Spick and Span. Um, currently at Walmart, you can buy this for 97 cents before taxes. And I love it because it's a great all-purpose cleaner. It's antibacterial and it will melt this grease. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Spray. So here I am in the refrigerator. I don't know that melting is the correct term, but I'm just spraying it around. And I'm just going to let this stuff sit in here for a little bit. And we'll see how it does. Okay, while we sit and let the magical spick and span work, I thought I'd give you a tour of one of these empty houses and show you some, some strange things that I see on their walls. Let's go take a look. This is a cool little apartment in Athens um, that they asked me to clean. And this obviously strikes your attention. They put some stickers on the wall, which is really a cool thing, but obviously the, the next people moving in do not want these stickers. So I'm just going to move. I'm going to destroy North America, <laughs> and then we'll destroy Asia, and so forth. Okay guys, welcome back. Spick and Span has sat in the refrigerator for a little while. Experiment with the times yourself and see how long you like it. Um, but what I want to show you before we do that is we saw the grease in the refrigerator, but what is this on the freezer? Do you know? Obviously that is mildew or mold. I'm not sure what the technical term is. Um, but when you have natural occurring substances, so these aren't grease, um, what I would recommend use is something with bleach. Use bleach for products that are natural. Use a degreaser for grease. So just don't get those confused. It'll help you out. Now for the big reveal. How did the spick and span do? All right, so there is our, well, it looks like it is kind of melted. All right, so let's see if it does come off. Look at that, Look how easy that is to clean. 
much easier. I still see a few spots back here, but much more manageable. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just take the refrigerator apart and begin cleaning it. Probably should have done this in the beginning. Okay, I've got my drawers pulled out, got the bottom pulled out, we've got the uh, trays, whatever you, what do you call this? Got those things pulled out, and uh, so now I'm just going to clean out the refrigerator. Probably should have done this first. Okay, let's see how it turned out. Still have some work to do in the whole refrigerator, but that does look a lot better with Spick and Span. One last little hint, if you want to do like any, uh, just really touch up, if you're, if you're just, these little spots drive you crazy, get a magic eraser and you'll be amazed how much, for, type, for just spot cleaning, uh, just wet it and let it go. But anyways, that is Spick and Span. Thanks for watching my video on Spick and Span. This is something you should put in your cleaning caddy. Uh, about 97 cents, at least where I live in Georgia um, right now. So it'll help your grease game. We'll see you next time. If you want more videos, subscribe down here. Or if you're on Facebook, like our channel. We'll see you next time.